Hello everyone and welcome back to Runway Inside Aviation YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Microsoft Flight Simulator. First things first, let's head over to NVIDIA Control Panel and click on Manage 3D Settings. Here, let's go to Global Settings and scroll down until you find Shader Cache Size and make sure to switch this to Unlimited and hit Apply. Once you've done that, let's head over to Program Settings and find Microsoft Flight Simulator in the drop-down menu here. Anisotropic filtering will be the first option we will change, so uh, make sure to set this to 16 times and then switch it off entirely in MSFS. Let's head down to the next option, which is Low Latency Mode, and make sure to switch this to Ultra. This will result in lower input lag. Next, we need to make sure that the OpenGL rendering GPU is set to our primary gaming GPU. Uh, if you leave this at auto select and you, for example, have two GPUs or you have an integrated uh, graphics card uh, on your uh, CPU, then it may select the incorrect one. So I would highly recommend uh, selecting uh, this option to your primary GPU. And then the next option is power management mode and set this to prefer maximum performance. Going down we have another two important options, the first one being texture filtering and isotropic sample optimization. I would leave this off because if you leave this on uh, it can result in some blurry textures which uh, we do not really want. And the other one is texture filtering negative LOD bias. Uh, you can uh, switch this to clamp if you want to uh, or if you prefer uh, performance. Uh, if you prefer uh, visuals then uh, leave this uh, at a Allow, but since we want to boost our FPS, I would definitely recommend setting this to clamp. And last but not least, we have threaded optimization. I would definitely switch this on uh, because this will allow MSFS to manage your multi-core CPU more efficiently. Once you've adjusted all these settings, you can hit apply and then close NVIDIA control panel and start your Microsoft Flight Simulator. In the simulator itself, we have some more important adjustments to do in order to boost your FPS, so let's head over to Options, General Options and Graphics. First thing here, I would highly recommend switching the DirectX version to DirectX 11 rather than 12. I always had better performance with DirectX 11 and considering that DirectX 12 is still in beta within MSFS, I would stick to DirectX 11. Going down, try lowering your terrain level of detail and objects level of detail. Make sure to set off-screen terrain pre-caching to ultra and lower your grass and bushes setting. Turn off anisotropic filtering as we set this to 16 times in the NVIDIA control panel. Going further down, make sure to set water waves to medium or low as well as reducing windshield effects. And last but not least, at the very bottom, make sure to set glass cockpit refresh rate to low. Before we move on, make sure to apply and save your settings. It may require a restart of your simulator, but you can do that later. Let's proceed to traffic. Here, the most important section is the land and sea traffic. Make sure to lower these options in order to boost your FPS. Again, don't forget to hit apply and save and you're good to go. And that's it. These were the most important tips and tricks to boost your FPS in Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new and until next time, take care guys.